Okay, this is Jerry Norton, and I'm going to be doing a deal review on this property here. It's 3308 Dean's Drive in Albany, Georgia. It is an REO. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this address, and I'm going to go put it into my Flipster system. I'm going to go to Properties, New Property, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this address in here. This is um, Albany. The state is Georgia. Zip code is 31721, and this is Dean's Drive. Status on this is pending. It is a house, and we're in the analyzing stage. And um, let me just grab a few pieces of information. So we've got, uh, it's a 322166. 322166, so it's a uh, 2166 square feet. Three bedroom, two bath, and it's a two car or two, what do you call it, carport. Um, and I can go in and fill out more information here. Let me just grab this link and put that in here under property images. Once I've got that information in here, for now I'll click create. There's more information I could fill out about this property, but for now that's good. Then I'm going to go to analyzing deals, deal analyzer. And I'm going to click Add New Deal, and I'm going to select Dean's Drive. This is a fix and flip, and based on the pictures, I'm going to put this as an average rehab. Um, I've already looked at the pictures, and it's average. So average is carpet paint, kitchen, baths. Um, are you planning on wholesaling this deal? For now, I'll just put no, and then click Calculate. And it's going to take a second here, but what it's going to do is it's going to run all of the numbers for me and then we can start from there. Okay, so here we are, here's my high level information and here is my deal analyzer box. So we're 2166 square feet. It's saying that that zip code where this property is located has an average price per square foot of 53, puts it at 114.7. It's got the rehab at 35 with my closing cost, carrying cost and profit, puts me at a buy of 39.6. But I wanna go in and verify a couple numbers my price per square foot for my comps on my solds and my rehab so let's start with our comps okay so if I go back to um, if I go into Zillow and I put that address in right here and I search then here's Dean's Road so our property is right here on Dean's Road and then here's all sold so I switch the filter to just solds and I put it to go back 12 months and I put a range of 1500 to 3000 because we're 20, what are we, 2200, 2166. So those are a couple filters I put in there. And then it gives me this map view here. So then I need to kind of look at some of these comps and decide what I think are relevant comps. So first let's start with these ones that are kind of close by. What I like is I see 140, 146, 138. That's pretty consistent. And I see some 130s. Okay, so just from looking at this overview here, without even clicking on anything, I'm getting a real sense of around, you know, 140, 150, mid, mid 100s is kind of the market, right? Because you got 40, 141, 149, 38, 42, 64, 56. You got a couple lower, like 106, 113. Um, you got this guy. This is the only one up here that even breaks anywhere near 200. And there's no picture um, it's almost 3,000 square feet. And then our next most expensive home, let's see if we can find it. Here, probably this one, 186. Yeah. Okay, so this is, looks like a newer home, 2,400 square feet, brick, two car garage. You know, so not a real similar comparison as this home, right? <laughs> So I want to look for homes that are similar, year built, style, square footage, that I can use as comps. So 186, that's not really our home. Let's see, there's one, 171, same thing. I mean, look at that. It's a more modern brick, two-car attached garage. You know, this is probably built in the 90s. Um, so not a comp. So, so far my high ones, so far my high comps of 186 and 171 and 275 are not really relevant. Let's see if we can find, here's a 168, no pictures, but again, it's bigger, 24, it's a four, two and a half. 
So can't use it since, since we don't have pictures. Here's a 159. Similar type of thing. See that? The, the brick, kind of the high, the, the, what do you call them? The high ceiling ranches, ramblers, two car garage. So I, I can't really go with those. So that's going to put me now down under the 150s. There's a lot of these. Here's another one. Let's see what this is. Yeah, same type of thing. So there's two types of homes that are going on. Now, if I look over here at the 138, yeah, there's our home, you know, like a older ranch. This one doesn't look like it has a garage or anything. 1,900 square feet, sold for 137.5. So I would probably use that as a comp. 146, yeah, same type of house, right? See, this is kind of how ours is. 2,800 square feet, a little bigger, got 146.5. So I'm just doing a, a real quick peek at what's nearby. What's this for 140? Yeah, that's similar to ours as well. Got 139.5. Uh, let's see what this thing did. It got really bad. No pictures. So we don't know. Uh, what's this? 165. Okay, and then let me look at some of these 130s here. Well, that's a two-car kind of garage, but might might need some work. So my gut is telling me we're at about 140, maybe 145. Here's one. Let's see, 1,600 square feet, so a little smaller, got 142. Uh, 139 here. Okay, that looks pretty nice. 1,800 square feet, so a little smaller. But all of these are pretty dated. I haven't seen anything that's rehabbed yet. Everything I've looked at so far has been pretty dated. Let's see, what have I not looked at? Let's see what this thing did really bad. Yeah, so let's older home. Um, so pretty excited so far because we have our property right here at 40 uh, under contract at 45. So and I like this 140, I like this 146, I like this 138. So I would definitely going to use these three comps. So here's what I would do next. Let's go ahead and enter these in. So we're going to go with uh, this one here on BD Road. I'm going to go back to my analyzer. We're going to go ahead and add this comp, new comp. Let's put the address in. Let's put a little bit of data on this thing. So it sold for 139.5, 139.5, and this was 21.93.2. So 21.93.2, and create. I could put more information, but let's just get the basics. So 64 bucks a foot. So let's go back and grab this other one. So let's grab this one. And this one is a is 2803 bigger and a five four and a half. 2803. Well, it got 146.5. Let's get that information in first. Click new comp. These are under my solds. Put the address in. What did I say? 146,500. And it was 2803. 2803. And it was a five. It was a five. Four and a half, a lot of baths. Create. That got 52 bucks a foot. And then let's go back and get, which one are we missing? This one? Yeah, let's grab this one. This is actually on Dean Drive. And this is uh, 137.5. New comp. Pop in this address. 137.500. And it was 19 and some change. 1993.2. Okay, that got 69 bucks a foot. So we're averaging at 62 right now. And let's go see what else we want to grab as comps. So 113, 134. That's not really looks like ours though. I want to find similar type of ranches. These are all kind of those newer homes. Yeah, these are all those newer homes. So this little pocket here, I would not use. Right, because look at they're all it's all a newer newer neighborhood. That's not a good example, but let me click on one of these. It's all these newer homes with the two car garages. That's not our mark. That's not what we are over here. So this is a little neighborhood here. See, there's another one. That's another one. Another one. They're all similar. That one too. Even though they're kind of pulling around the 140s, I don't think I would use any of those. Let's see if I can scoot up this way and get anything different. No, these are going to be nicer. This, yeah big two-story. I think these are our most relevant comps. These three right here are what we'd want to go with. All right, so I'm going to go with these three comps. Preferably, I'd like to have a couple more, but what's nice is these all validate as well, you know, that I'm 
then I'm not way out of the ballpark, right? Because these are all kind of hitting that 140 to 170 based on probably based on condition. You can see these. So we want to stick with this type of home. Let's see what else we have on here, just through the pictures. Yeah, so I think we've got the right comps right over here in this little pocket. And so we're going back to my deal analyzer. I'm going to go with 62 bucks a foot. Um, although in reality, when we rehab our house, we will be way nicer than these because these these are just dated. But that's the market 62. I would probably so we got to bump this 62 would be conservative. Uh, you might be able to push it a little, maybe to 65. Like I, I honestly think I could push it to 140. Yeah, 65 and feel pretty comfortable with that number. Again, because we're going to be renovated when we go in and do our house. Now, second number I want to look at here is 35. So let's go back to this here, and I just want to go through some pictures. So need to do some landscaping outside, but roof looks okay. I'm, I'm, at, I'm, I'm assuming the brick and windows are okay. Now, kitchen, since none of these other homes have kitchens, what I think I would probably do is just paint this kitchen, paint these cabinets white, put on a new granite countertop and I put tile new tile floor obviously repaint everything I think we could get away with painting this panel I don't think I'd pull that out would definitely do something with this flooring I would not leave that I would either do new tile or carpet or something I have to kind of see what we should do there um, this room looks okay refinish these wood floors okay here's stuff nearby yeah 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 get back to the house okay so here's the backyard I oh, know that's the front yard as well okay so the yards fine there's the backyard now we got to clean clean some of this overgrowth up but this is a concern this is deck needs refinish so we're gonna spend some work but it's nice I mean it will be nice I've done a lot of decks like this really faded and um, you know they just, it just needs sand sandblasted power washed and then restained Got some discoloration on the brick, so we'll probably have to do wash the brick. There's our carport, but everything looks pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of kind of gutter and stuff to work, but that's normal. Um, that's fine. Nothing really there. There's that room looking back the other way. Same room. Remove remove wallpaper, new, new um, electrical outlets and fixtures. Um, I think this is off the kitchen, yeah, because there's that same kitchen tile, so this is like a breakfast nook thing or whatever you call it. Uh, that is part of your kitchen or dining yep so more of our kitchen there's our laundry room that looks fine bedroom so doors are okay trim is okay so that's good so right now I'm at about 25,000 just because I know when I go in and I do flooring carpet paint kitchen and I'm not doing new cabinets so I'm saving a little bit there tile I haven't seen a bathroom yet Let's get in a bathroom. Okay, so bathroom, we could probably get away with leaving this vanity. Popping on a new granite countertop that matches the kitchen would look nice. Ideally, we could do a his and her sink would be kind of cool, new hardware. But I would replace this tile, and there's the bathroom, or the tub part and the toilet. Retile this. This room might be able to glaze because that four inch um, tile is really popular right now. Same with the tub, new toilet. So I've got, I budget, I don't know, 3500 for that bathroom. We've got two baths, so I'm not sure where the other one is. Looks like we're missing a couple closet doors, but that's not a big deal. All new fixtures again. Okay, there's the other bathroom. So this one does have his and her sink. And uh, again, I would leave that cabinet because the market's not saying I've got to have everything brand new. I would just try to fix up and by putting on a new countertop. Um, somewhere I saw that it needed a new air conditioning unit and we can't see the mechanicals so normally on a house about you know 1200 square feet to come in and do all of this I would budget about 25 since this one we've got another bath we got to do that deck work um, there's a picture somewhere I saw where it needs a new air conditioning so I'm gonna assume we need to do that so I'm gonna put this thing more like around 35 to 40 probably 40 because we're a little bigger, 2166. 40,000 would give me a really healthy budget to do this house right. Um, I might be able to get away with 35 just because, again, the market isn't saying I've got to have a really nice house. 
so I don't need to go over the top. I can cut some corners and get away with it because the market, you know, the comps we're using that are pulling in around 62, these comps here, there's nothing special about any of those homes. Okay, so we might even be able to go, so you know what, I'm gonna keep it at 35. I don't think I need to spend 40. 35 is gonna give me everything I need to do, um, which, puts me, which puts me at a 56.5 buy following the 65% formula. So I think this is a fantastic deal. I think paying 56 is um, an awesome price. Um, that would do a great, great deal here. This should net a $28,000 profit, assuming you sold it for 140, 140,000, spent 35 on the rehab, um, spent 12.6 on closing costs, 8,400 8, on carrying cost, cost of money, will get you a $28,000 profit. Okay, that's my deal review using Flipster. Uh, Flipster is my software for running and managing my entire flipping business. It does everything from finding, analyzing, offering, wholesaling, managing, funding, all of it. And so you can check that out at flipstersoftware.com and see if that's something that can help you in your business. All right, Jerry Norton, talk to you soon.